and we have two, three different offers. So if one doesn't work, we go to the other one. If the other one doesn't work, we go to our third offer. We got three different offers for, for, for Josh. He's in a great position right now. There's a rumor, and, and if, uh, there's, if you mind if I speak on it, there's a rumor that I heard that it might be that, that you guys are in the middle of, of maybe a Ioka fight? We, that's one of the one of, that's one of the offers, but it's still not finalized. We cannot finalize it yet uh, because uh, the WBO and WBA they have, they also have to approve it. Okay. So so we're working on that. Uh, we're hoping that it does get finalized. But we also have you know like I told you, uh, oh, Max Room is very interested also. Both brother, brothers, world champions, both fighting in San Antonio would be huge. Right. Would be huge. A dual that, card, a brother that, card. And that's what Backstrom wants to do. Okay. So we have that option too. End of January or, or February, both fighters fighting here in San Antonio uh, together, both defending their titles would be insane. Would be great. So, so you know, we got we got another option that I don't want to mention right now. Yeah, yeah, because, of course, of course. Because it's there. It's just they just offered us, and it's also another huge fight for for Franco against. Uh, against a, 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 a former pound for pound fighter, five division champion, you know, that wants to come down to 115, but I don't want to fight him because he was my fighter before. He was my fighter and I'm never going to fight him. I already know who you're talking about, but I'm not going to speak on yeah, it. Yeah, so I, I'm never going to fight I'm him. I'm not going to speak on it. Exactly. Yeah, but I know who it is. Okay. So we also got that offer. I talked to them and they said, no, we're never going to fight Robert Garcia. Robert Garcia's fighter. So, you know, those, and, so we got options, you know. And it's mutual because you told, you told them you won't fight them either. I never will. Yeah. It's a love Exactly. And, 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 and you know what? You took a lot of criticism, and, and this guy fought yesterday because you said you said you felt like Pitbull style could trouble the undisputed champion Devin Haney. Well, why why would I be criticized when I'm talking the reality? You know, styles like that are gonna make it difficult against anybody. It doesn't matter if you're pound for pound the best part in the world. Uh, uh, Lomachenko was pound for pound the best part in the world, and and uh, and uh, Salido beat him. Right. And Salido's not pound for pound the best part in the world. Right. Never been even mentioned among the top ten pound for pound fighters uh, in the world, and he beat him. Why? Because styles make fights. Style. Salido has a style that just keeps coming, keeps coming, and you could beat him up the first half of the fight, the first eight rounds, but he still has four rounds left. Margarito was similar. Margarito used to used to fight like that. You know, he used. To, you know, Brody Lou lose the first six fights, I mean six rounds of every fight. But then he keeps coming, keeps coming. And Pitbull's one of those guys. Marco Madonna. Marcos Madonna is a perfect example. Nobody gave him a chance against uh, Broner. Nobody gave him a chance against Mayweather and we beat him the first time. They just didn't give him the fight. But, you know, styles make fights. And I think Pitbull is that style that's gonna be hard to, to beat. And Haney, I'm not, nothing that I'm, no disrespect to Haney. He's a, Badass fighter, he's he's undisputed. So, you know, so if, if people take it as a, as, as a, you know offensive up, yeah. or I'm hating on him, no, I'm just saying the truth. I think people give trouble to anybody at 130.